basically uh, I lost early in Cabo and um, I, my brother lives, my older brother lives in LA. So I went there and I, I had like two weeks until um, Indian Wells. So mm-hmm. um, I know Kova's agent because he's Spanish and he, I think I posted a story on my Instagram and he, and he texted me saying, yo, are you, in, are you in LA? Would you like to hit with, with Novak? And I was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> And then um, <laughs> you shouldn't have asked. You should have just told me you're hitting with Novak tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly. And then I don't know how someone. Oh, yeah. The USDA contacted me um, that Rafa was in, in Indian Wells, like because he was he was preparing the um, the this the Netflix event with uh, with Carlos in, oh, in, Carlos, in yeah. Vegas. So I practiced with. Uh, Rafa like Sunday, Monday, and then I practiced with uh, Novak Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I went to Indian Wells. I was like, okay, that's a pretty good preparation. And you practiced <laughs> with Fed Friday, Saturday. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, Any, it was good. Hit. Anything you picked up from them? Yeah, for Novak, it was crazy. Like how like having him in front. I felt like he wasn't doing it. I think, you know, like he just, he mm-hmm. just like, he didn't seem really physical. He didn't, he wasn't grunting, but then his ball was like so heavy in terms of the depth he was playing with. And like, mm-hmm. you, I always felt like I, I was the one kind of like trying to save the balls, you know, like, you know, when they, they hit, uh good returns to your feet and you're just like oh shit mm-hmm. like i just gotta save this well that's how i felt like we were doing cross sports and we were like you know the typical two cross one line and he was just playing like a foot from the baseline on every shot so i never had the chance to like really you know load and hit it you know because he was playing mm-hmm. with so much depth that you were kind of like just eating every single ball kind of did that um, caused your quality to go down, like your quality of shot yeah, to go down, yeah. or it was just that you just couldn't attack. No, no, my quality went down because you know, I I was like, okay, let me go back a bit more, you know, because he's hitting with so much depth. Let me go back, but then the ball doesn't bounce as much because he's playing with a lot of speed and it's it it's not like going not up and down as much. Yeah. yeah. So so like then the ball wouldn't pop up and it would be like even lower, and so you basically have to stay in that position and just, I guess, have talent. <laughs> <Was it? laughs> With my coach, we always, yeah, okay, like, good. he'll see me, he'll see me um, do something uh, and obviously get it wrong. Like, what happened there? And I look at it and I go, dude, la- lack of talent. Like, I have no explanation, you know, just <laughs> lack of talent. <laughs> and then how different was Rafa? Rafa was like, you got to with Rafa, um, look, the guy is the guy is super intense. Um, obviously, he's been probably one of my favorite players, so I've I've watched him practice a lot. But it was incredible for me to see how. I kid you not, there were bo- there were forehands he would hit so far out, and then there were forehands that he would hit like I wouldn't say bottom of the net, but like pretty far down the net you know like middle of the net where you're just like dude that was no way near in you know and the guy just like doesn't even think about it he just kind of like he yeah he he just keeps hitting them and obviously you know i'm just saying those examples but there was thousands of times where he just ripping forehands and back and they're going you know perfectly in or like a foot uh inside the baseline or opening up the court but for me, it was like, wow, a guy that is that has won so much and he's missing by by that much. Like Novak would have missed uh, a lot of balls, yeah. you know, and Rafa was just like missing a bunch and he wasn't like phased about it. He was just, I guess, he's just training, you know, and I heard for this me, about like, him. Is it is it true that he like rips even more in practice than he does in matches, you think? Yeah, yeah, I would say he just, yeah, he, he goes all out. Thanks so much for watching this clip. The link for the full episode will be down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes.